Water exists on Earth and in our atmosphere in three physical states as a solid, ice and snow, a liquid, water and rain, and as a gas that's called water vapor. There are two ways we can quickly determine how much water vapor is in the air at any given time. One, by measuring the dew point temperature, and then comparing the dew point with the air temperature to find out the relative humidity. Okay, definition time. The dew point is the temperature to which air must be cooled to become saturated with water vapor, meaning the temperature where water vapor becomes water droplets. At that point, the air just can't hold any more water, so any further cooling results in condensation, where water changes from a gas to a liquid. Fog is certainly one of the biggest blinders for pilots. Simply put, a cloud near the Earth's surface is called fog. Fog forms by either cooling the air to its dew point or by adding moisture to the air near the ground. Fog is usually prevalent in industrial areas because of an abundance of condensation nuclei from combustion products. That gives these tiny water droplets something to stick onto when condensation happens. Clouds, fog, or dew will always form when water vapor condenses. Now we've already seen the relationship between temperature, dew point, and relative humidity. Armed with that knowledge, we should be on the lookout for foggy conditions when the temperature dew point spread is 5 degrees or less. So if you're planning to arrive at your destination near dusk or dawn with decreasing temperatures, be particularly concerned about the possibility of fog formation. But not all fog is created equal. There are five different types of fog that you may encounter and you'll need to know as a pilot. Advection fog, radiation fog, steam fog, precipitation-induced fog, and upslope fog. The type of fog describes how it forms. Let's take advection fog, for example. The word advection refers to a horizontal movement, such as a wind blowing from west to east. This type of fog is common in coastal areas where warmer, moist air blows over cool water near the coast, or a chilly landmass that's cool enough to chill the air to the dew point. Radiation fog will not make you glow in the dark. In this case, radiation refers to heat radiating from the Earth at night, cooling the ground and the air close to the surface. When the air temperature reaches its dew point, fog is formed. Radiation fog is sometimes referred to as ground fog. It's most common in warm, moist air over low flatland areas on clear, calm nights. Steam fog is the result of cold air moving over a warmer body of water. In this case, the air is cooled from above and the rising moist air reaches the dew point in that colder air, resulting in condensation. Low-level turbulence and icing can sometimes result from the unstable setup of cold air over a warm, moist surface. The last two types of fog are pretty self-explanatory. Precipitation-induced fog forms as moisture is added to the air from falling precipitation. And upslope fog forms when moist, stable air is pushed up sloping terrain by wind. It is cooled to its dew point and then results in fog. Only advection and upslope fog depend on wind in order to exist. Here's a memory aid to help you remember the different types. Fog usually seems present after rain. The first letters of each word stand for the five types of fog.